today I just want to show how you can uh, set up a driver to control the uh, subdividing, the, the, the level of subdivision surfaces with the subdivision surface modifier. This is based on a question post in Blender Artists. Uh, it sounds complicated, and you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's not as hard as it might seem initially. So I'm setting up a couple of cubes just for an example. I'm going to set up an empty here. And I'm going to delete my light. I'm going to delete my camera. I don't need those. And uh, the thing to just be aware of is that our empty, of course, as I move it around, these numbers here on the right are going to change. And I'm going to use uh, the the Z axis for location to show me, or the Z, the Z position, the Z location, to uh, control the number of subdivide surfaces that are happening here. So let's go ahead and click this box right here we are going to add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to go over view, which right now is one, and as it increases, you'll see that the uh, sphere subdivides itself more. I'm going, Well, the cube subdivides itself sort of into a sphere. Right-click on view and choose add driver. Okay, it becomes purple. The reason it becomes purple is because it has a driver on it, and that's the color. Go into your graph editor, change the, the view from F-curve to, or the mode to drivers, and it's got this little driver here which is just the default. Um, press the letter N and pick levels slash uh, parentheses subsurf, which represents that little guy right there. Collapse, collapse, and now um, we are going to use the eyedropper to select the empty object. And now it says empty. You could also just do the drop down and find it, but eyedroppers are fun when you have lots of objects in your scene. And instead of reading the X location in world space, we're going to read the Z location in world space. Click update dependencies for good measure. And, oh, one thing I forgot, the name of this little equation, essentially I've created an equation, is var. Okay, so I'm going to change that, retype in var here, and you'll see it changes. Because the Z position is zero, and so my value is zero. Again, click update dependencies. I just do that all the time because it seems to matter a lot. As this moves up, look at that. You see that? As you move it up on the z-axis, the number of subdivision surface increases. Okay. If I were to pin this for a moment, so we can just keep looking at that here on the right, you can see how as my location goes up and passes 2, my view becomes 2. And as it goes down to 1, my view goes down to 1. Now, it doesn't change automatically as I'm changing it, not until I release my mouse button. Then you can see the numbers show up reflecting there. If I right-click over the purple view, and choose copy driver. Now I can paste the driver. And now you'll see it happens both for the view and the render, meaning when I render this, it'll happen properly as well. OK. So now let's unpin this, select our other cube, add a subdivision surface modifier, and paste driver, paste driver, like I did already. And uh, you'll notice as I move this, it doesn't work. And that's, uh-oh, I moved it too high. I just froze up this thing like crazy. Hang on, we'll see if we can get out of it. There we go. If I click on this guy and select this, I just need to click Update Dependencies, basically. Um, maybe not for both of them, but as soon as I click Update Dependencies, you know, now I'm nervous about moving too high on the Z axis. Moving low probably does nothing, but too high can definitely cause trouble for me. So I'm, I'm going to add a constraint to this guy real quick. Um, we're going to limit location. Um, we're going to set a maximum Z maybe to 4. So now as we try to make it go higher than 4, it'll just stop. So that's good. <laughs> Keep me from having that happen again. Okay, now you may know that um, you can copy modifiers onto a different object. So if I were to select my Susanna and then shift-click this cube, I can press Control-L and link my modifiers. Now, does that work? Let's find out. No, it doesn't. Why? Well, because when you link modifiers together, it doesn't actually copy the keyframes over, at least in my experience. So now what I want to do is right-click, paste driver, and let's see if that worked. Doesn't look like it works. Let's take a look and see what happened. Um, update dependencies. Now it is definitely working. Let's make sure that it's going to work as well here. So if I click on Suzanne, set to zero levels. Now she's set to two levels, and I can go as high as, I think, as high as four here. So she's set to four levels. So there we go. So a quick way of using the transform uh, feature of an empty to 
drive the subdivisions for multiple subsurf modifiers on different objects. I hope you learned something from this and have a good day.